Wendy. We've got a really entertaining show. I'll explain that walk that I was trying to effect in a few moments. <laughs> Did you notice? I was up to something. Anyway, look, and so is Kim Kardashian. That divorce drama continues, okay? Oh. And which Lowen is going to be, well, wants to be on Dancing with the Stars. Oh. And then you won't believe what Jessica Simpson's parents are fighting about. Oh. Let's talk about it. It's time for Hot Topics. Yeah. like a fool, I've got giant feet and, and, and knock knees. So I've been taking walking lessons because tonight for the very first time ever, I'm going to be walking in a fashion show. It's for... <laughs> it's um, walking in the Heart Truth Red Dress Collection, a 2013 fashion show. This is the big fashion show. They happen every year. All the ladies wear red who walk the runway and we bring awareness to heart disease, which as we know is the number one killer for women but I've been taking actual walking lessons. <laughs> and I can't tell you about my red dress because they want it to be a surprise, but I can tell you it's made of matte jersey and it's by one of my favorite designers, Norma Kamali. <laughs> <laughs> um, also here on Wendy, Live Like a Star Month continues. Uh, we have a fabulous VIP trip, well, a bunch of fabulous VIP trips to New York that we're giving away. Plus, don't forget to look for the word of the day on today's show. And I'll give you a hint, even though they tell me not to. It's at the end of the show today. <laughs> yeah. Um, so, so yesterday I was thinking about the Super Bowl halftime you know, <laughs> for next year, you know, cause you, I told you I'm on the committee in Jersey. And you know what? Why didn't we think of Jennifer Lopez? Wouldn't she be perfect? <laughs> She'd be perfect. So now my number one choice is Jennifer Lopez for the Super Bowl halftime next year. And, my, and then, cause you know, she'll bring Pitbull out. Pitbull's already done, I think, Super Bowl halftime. <laughs> Pitbull will come out in one of those good shiny suits and that shiny bald head and those sunglasses. And he's a little tiny man, but he packs a whole lot of sex appeal. I like him. Anyway, so Jennifer Lopez is my number one choice and then Lady Gaga is my number two choice. After that, Katy Perry is a distant third and nobody else counts. <laughs> All right, so anyway, moving on. Um, Last night I finished up my sit. I was telling you that I'm, um, I have a guest starring role in an upcoming episode of Law and Order SVU. Oh! <laughs> oh! <laughs> so yesterday we finished filming and you know, I am playing the role of a talk show host named Wendy Williams, <laughs> whose talk show happens to be in New York, who happens to talk pop culture and hot topics. And one of the hottest topics going on is, is uh, the Chris Brown, Rihanna affectation. Like they're, they're mimicking that on Law & Order. So that was like the Chris Brown character that I was talking to on the set. And then last night, the Rihanna character had an album release party and I was outside the club, you know, yapping at her with, you know, the paparazzi and stuff. So anyway, um, thank you, Law & Order SVU. I had a really good time. And you guys, by the way, don't forget the big buzz about that show is that Mike Tyson is guest starring tonight. He's playing a murderer on death row. And uh, that airs tonight, Law & Order SVU, at nine o'clock on NBC. Thank you. <laughs> okay. The divorce drama is heating up between Kim Kardashian and Chris Humphreys. And I just have to say, wait, 
first I'll give you the story, then I'll give you my opinion. So Chris's legal team has filed new legal documents saying that the case can't go to trial because they're still waiting for evidence from Kim's team. That evidence would include raw footage from Keeping Up With The Kardashians and all those Kardashian shows. You know that raw footage on the floor probably tells the whole story. <laughs> I mean, I understand you waiting for this footage, Chris. However, um, Anyway, Chris's lawyers are saying that uh, Kim is trying to use her pregnancy with Kanye to rush this case along and just end it. Ooh. Well, guess what? Pregnancy, pregnancy and also illness trump everything. Unfortunately, Chris, she got you. <laughs> and, and I really did want you to go in and, and win this because I know somewhere in there, even though you, duh. <laughs> You went along willingly and married this girl and you knew that there was something going on besides love. However, <laughs> however, we all in our mind suspect things about the Kardashians and their meaning or lack thereof is sincerity in particular things like the marriage with you and Kim. But now it's too late for you to prove it. Now you're gonna lose the case. You should have just taken the $10 million to begin with because now that she's pregnant, a pregnant woman can use that as an excuse for anything. You know what I mean? So now she can, look, there's pregnant Kim. The second a pregnant woman goes, oh, all bets are off. <laughs> and by the way, God forbid, but if she has a miscarriage, then she could maybe sue you for causing her stress. I'm just saying. According to TMZ, Kim's doctors have told her already that the stress from the divorce could put the baby at risk. See? She, Kim is... Kim is winning. <laughs> Sorry, Chris, just take the money and end the case. Damn you. Okay, so what are your thoughts on Dina Lowen being on Dancing with the Stars? I gotta tell you, Carrie Ann Inaba, by the way, one of the judges from Dancing with the Stars is walking in the fashion show tonight. So I gotta, Carrie Ann, I have to ask you about that, uh, or, or at least give you my opinion. Um, <laughs> Dancing with the Stars, T Dina Lowen is not a star. She's a, 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 what appears to be a bad mom, one of the worst. She, she, she's the bad mom of what appears to be a falling star, Lindsay Lowen. Anyway, uh, Dina wants to be on Dancing with the Stars. She told Extra this, and she wants Max to be her partner because Max is strict. Maybe she got that idea after Lindsay uh, was allegedly offered Dancing with the Stars, but she turned down their $500,000 paycheck to appear. Yeah, so I guess Dina thinks that she's gonna scoop up that same money. Nobody wants to see you on Dancing with the Stars. <laughs> you know where we wanna see you, Dina? We wanna see you by your daughter's side, helping her clean up her act. And, and also... And also, you know what, Dina? Max would never put up with your foolishness. I know that you think that Max is a good time guy because he was dancing with Kirsty, but Kirsty really danced. And Kirsty really had tenacity to show up to practice and be present. I saw you on Dr. Phil, and you, did, you didn't appear to be present there, Dina. Just saying. By the way, I have no idea who's actually gonna be on Dancing with the Stars, and the new show returns uh, March 18th, so they don't have much time to make the announcements. I'll be watching, yeah. sure. Yeah. Well, you know, uh, at the Jessica Simpson uh, family house, there's just a lot going on. Um, it's turning ugly between her mother and father. You know, uh, Joe and Tina have announced that they are separating, heading for divorce. Um, Joe has had some sort of midlife crisis where he's lost weight, he looks like a twink at this point. Uh, he's got uh, very, very bleached blonde hair. And listen, Jessica's mom, Tina, is allegedly furious that uh, Father Joe up here um, has bl reportedly blown through uh, $300,000 from their joint bank account on a Mexican getaway. According to Radar Online, Joe spent so much money so fast that Tina suspects that someone joined him on the trip. Ooh. Tina girl, <laughs> we need to talk. <laughs>
Anyway, Tina reportedly thinks that the money should be used for their daughter's careers and not his vacation funds. But my thing about Joe is that, Tina, you have to be fair about this. It was Joe who built this empire. You know, you had two daughters and, and Joe took them years ago and, and got them branded and got them, you know, the reality show and all that other kind of stuff. God, they used to be such a smart, handsome looking couple. <laughs> and then Joe had to lose his mind. <laughs> anyway, um, just get this divorce done as soon as possible. You know, it's gotta be hurting Tina. It's gotta be hurting Jessica, who's still pregnant, um, you know, with the second child. It's gotta be hurting Ashley. And it's got, Joe is living his life. How you doing? <laughs> I love Mario Lopez, and Mario Lopez loves to show off his body. <laughs> okay, so he lost the bet, bet to his um, extra co-host, Maria Mununos, who also loves to show off her body. <laughs> Mario's team was the San Francisco 49ers, and they lost to the Baltimore Ravens, so the promise was that Mario would have to strip down to his underwear and streak through the Grove, which Ooh. is a big outdoor mall. And <laughs> As you know, as you know, Mario has his own line of underwear, so that, that's him modeling his own line of underwear. And Mario, you look taller when you're naked. <laughs> nice, thank you. All right, so Miley Cyrus, do you, we, did we agree that we do like her hair short and blonde? It's nice, it's a nice change. I don't mind this hairstyle at all. Um, she's been getting tons of um, you know, opinions as to you know, what people think about her hair, but she told E! News that she doesn't miss her long hair in any way, shape, or form, and she's never going back to long. The long is sweet, more innocent, but I get it. It's probably a lot to maintain all the extensions because that's not all her hair, so then you have to do the extensions and stuff. Although, when, you, when your hair is white blonde, then you have to touch up your roots all the time. She looks older and hardened with the blonde hair, doesn't she? But didn't you wanna look older and hardened when you were 19? I know I did. I mean, when I was 19, my favorite lipstick was Revlon Fire and Ice. It was reddish, um, it was reddish orange and it was really shiny like a Saturday night special. And because I was five feet, uh, you know, 11, and seemingly a larger uh, framed woman, and all the boys my age, they totally weren't into a big girl like me, but all the older men used to always hit on me, even though I was very naive inside. But I used to put that fire and ice on, and do you remember the Indian Earth makeup in the urn? If you spilled it on your put that Indian Earth on, and line the inside of my eyes. And, and go out and I would, you know, you look old. When you're 19, you wanna look older, it's funny. And then when, by the time you get to 39, you wanna look younger. But Miley, <laughs> Miley, live your life. We love commenting on you. <laughs> so, <laughs> Donald Trump is battling another celebrity. <gasps> this time, it's talk show host. I know. What do you want me to say? No, it's Bill Maher. Uh, you may remember that Donald offered uh, to donate $5 million to charity if President Obama released his college transcripts. Remember, Donald was on one? Yep, and wanted that. What's that? Ooh, that's a lot of Indianers. <laughs> Donald, Donald. I like your, I like your fake and bake. Anyway. Bill went on Jay Leno the other day and promised to donate $5 million to charity if Donald could prove that his father isn't an orangutan. <laughs> so ridiculous. So now Donald, no, it gets worse. Donald is suing Bill now for the $5 million because he says he's proved that his dad isn't an orangutan, and he wants Bill to pay up. You know, it's so silly, all you can do is laugh, and Donald will be here on our show later this month, so we'll ask him about that and a whole lot more.
know, I was, um, I, you hate to see a marriage end, but when it came to Tom Cruise and Katie Holmes, I was all for that one ending, and I was very happy for her. I was, I was very happy for her. I was very, I was also very happy to see her, you know, uproot and move to New York and enroll Sari in school and just do normal stuff. Like there she is walking around in New York and posing. <laughs> so she's been single now for seven months, but according to Radar Online, she's ready to get back into the dating scene. She's a little nervous because she says she's really enjoying her freedom on account of she was controlled by Tom Cruise for all five of their years being married. So you can understand that. Even if you've never been through it, you get that. But what she's worried about is that a new relationship will mean that she's gonna lose her newfound freedom. And I say, no, 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 Katie. This is what, what happened. See, don't date a really wealthy guy. Don't date another actor. Don't date like a junk bondsman from down on Wall Street. <laughs> this is who you date, honestly. You date a regular guy, uh, like a cameraman. <laughs> or, I am telling you, when a woman has her money, she got that money from Tom Cruise and that little fledgling acting career she has. She's got her money and she's got her daughter. So now she doesn't, have to, she doesn't need to be bossed around. She needs a nice guy who's gonna open the door for her and treat her right. And I, I feel like Julia Roberts, at first maybe you didn't understand it, but Julia Roberts met Danny Motor, who was like a cameraman or a key grip or a pup, like a production assistant. He wasn't high on the totem pole on the movie location, but their eyes locked. And a bunch of years later, Danny and Julia are married. They have children together. I'm t just get a guy who's not gonna cause you a hard time, like this guy that Julia got. A plumber or something. Anyway, this Valentine's Day, Katie says that she's gonna carry on a childhood tradition that her mom used to do for her, and that is making red pancakes. And so she's gonna make the red pancakes for Seri. Do you have any uh, traditions like that on these off holidays? I'm not talking Thanksgiving or Christmas. I'm talking like the off holidays. Like I know it, growing up in the Williams household, there wasn't a St. Patrick's Day that went by. Now mind you, we're not O. Williams, we're Williams. <laughs> I'm just plain blackety black Jersey. There's no Irish anywhere, but for some reason, every St. Patrick's Day, my mom would feel it necessary to make corned beef and cabbage with really spicy mustard and potatoes at the bottom of the pot and really soft New York rye. And so my parents, they're in Florida right now, but they'll be up here in a couple of weeks. And my mother, doggone her, she says to me the other day, Wendy, and you know I'm, you know I'm gonna be making corned beef and cabbage for St. Patrick's Day. I said, of course, mom, of course. <laughs> okay, um, it is official. I've been teasing you about this story, Britney Spears heading to Vegas mm -hmm. to do that, that show. Well, it's official. Don't you love these shorts? Every time I see somebody in them, I'm just feeling like somebody needs to get them. Can somebody who has tickets to the Wendy show just wear them to the show? And, we'll <laughs> and don't forget the fishnets. It's good. Anyway. It's now confirmed. Britney's managers have confirmed she is setting up residency for her own show at one of the Caesars in, uh, in Las Vegas. This is gonna be so good. I know you're gonna wanna know, or you're gonna wanna go, and I'm not exactly sure when it starts, but it is a done deal, the paperwork is signed. Now this is great for Britney, because to me, she can go, you know, a residency in Vegas is usually several months or several years, depending on how well it goes, which means that you can live a fairly stable lifestyle. You can enroll your kids, like I said, in the Vegas Middle School. You know, you can, you can live a, in a regular house. You can go grocery shopping. Why, as soon as Brittany got the, uh, the, the news about the job, she proceeded to do one of her favorite activities, which is grocery shopping. Here she is with a basket full of orange crush and, and gum. And I'll show you how normal she is. She doesn't even have flower service at her house. She buys flowers at the grocery store like we do. And, and she drove off in a smart car with no window tint and the roof open. I don't know that I trust Britney Spears behind the wheel. That's a, that's a brave black man next to her in the car.